Never thought that I would see the day where Subaru comes out with a turbocharged SUV. What's up you guys? I'm back again today and I'm in a turbocharged SUV, like I said. So what I got here is the 2020 Subaru Ascent. This one's a limited model in the magnetite gray, so it looks really sharp. I won't waste your time, let's just get right into it. So in the Ascent here, it is that same Boxer 4 engine, slightly smaller at 2.4 liters instead of the WRX STI's 2.5 liter. Like I said, it is a turbocharged motor. You got about 260 horsepower. It is direct injected, um, 277 pound-feet of torque. I do think it's really cool how they put the uh, WRX intercooler on there. It just kind of gives it a nice, a nice touch to me personally. One thing I wish that we had was hood struts instead of the prop rod here, so minus one point for that, but no big deal. You got a top speed of about 125 miles an hour and zero to 60 in about 7.4 seconds, so not bad, not bad at all. So moving on to the side over here, we've got our front ventilated rotors, 13 inch, and then back over here, also 13 inch rear ventilated rotors and 20 inch wheels all the way around. Base model all the way up to premium have about a 2,000 pound tow capacity. This one is one of the big boys though, and we've got up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. Nine inches of ground clearance, my dude. So if you ever decide that you wanna take this thing on a trail, you don't have to be afraid of kicking up rocks. All right, and once you step inside this spaceship, you're honestly going to see a lot. So on the door handle over here, you got the setting for both your seat settings, and then down there, you've got the auto one touch up and down for the windows. Going over to the steering wheel, you've got your seek buttons here for your audio, and then on the right over here, if it'll focus, you've got your adaptive cruise control settings, and also a heated steering wheel button, which is pretty cool. And then we'll kind of just work our way downwards. So up here, just like in the WRX and STI, you can kind of see a lot of the vehicle information that goes on. So we got the buttons over here to go through it and you can go down and see like, you know, diagnostics, uh, gas readout, etc., all that fun stuff. Here we got your Starlink head unit, which is pretty basic. Um, so you've got your phone button, the navigation, the My Subaru app, which if you sign up for Starlink, you can go ahead and control the car from your phone more or less. Um, your media button for Bluetooth and all that fun stuff. And then just moving our way down to the climate control here. So it's dual automatic climate control. So you can turn it on and you can have it just for you, the driver, or you can change it for the passenger as well. Or you can press the sync button here and now they're both gonna move in unison. Moving down a little bit further, that X mode button right there is real cool. So like, let's say you're going down a hill and it's really, really snowy. Let's say your car loses a little bit of traction. Press that X mode and basically it just maximizes the traction to whatever wheel is spinning the most but you kind of lose a little bit of fuel economy, so double-edged sword. One thing that's kind of crazy about the Ascent is the amount of storage you have. So right here is a little pocket for you to go ahead and put something. You've got cup holders absolutely everywhere. I think there's about 19 or 20 cup holders in the Ascent, every single model. Also, along with an auto-dimming mirror with the home link connectivity, you've got a cabin view mirror too, so like for those parents out there that want to see what their kids are doing in the back seat, now you can. Now we're going to move on to, I think, probably my most favorite part of the entire car, and that's totally the sunroof. I love it. So, now I'm in the back of it, as you can see, and again, I there's so much space in here for just absolutely everything. So. You got pockets in the back of the seats for, you know, your files and all that stuff. Another cup holder on the door, another one on the door, both sides. And then there's a drop down over here in the middle, which I'll show you in one second. Another set of cup holders. You've also got rear climate control back here and, and dual heated seats. So that's pretty cool too. And with this, you actually get two options for back seats. So you get the bench seat or you can go ahead and get the captain's chairs, which is what these are. And I think the captain's chairs are definitely the way to go. You also got privacy glass too, and it's not actual glass, it's just kind of like a privacy screen you can pull up. So there's a little tab down here on both sides of the back, and you just pull it up. And there's two hooks on both sides over here that you can just hook it on. Now you're private. I figure now I should definitely go and show you the cargo area, right? Right. Got that powered gate, so it makes life easier for you. And then once you go back here, you can see that you could probably fit maybe like, I don't know, one or two strollers back here, but then everything changes when you put these seats down. So you lift the tab over here, or not. Lift this tab over here. Go ahead and push forward. It's a little bit difficult, but 
Same thing over here, push forward. And now we've got so much more room. So basically, the Subaru Ascent is the WRX as a family-sized SUV that's more reliable. So because you got that turbocharger in there, you do have slightly reduced gas mileage. Um, excuse me because I'm kind of spacing on the numbers, but I will put them in a little bit later. All right, so right off the bat, it definitely feels a lot more uh, throaty than a regular SUV. Typically when you get on the gas in an SUV, there's a little bit of lag or something like that. But I think just because of that turbocharger, honestly, it's making it a little bit more, uh, you know? Turn in response is really, really good. I feel like all Subarus have that really good turn in response just because it's got that all-wheel drive and also most of them nowadays have that electric powered steering assist, except for the STI. The STI is the only one that still has the mechanical steering rack, so cool stuff. Shout out to Jesse for letting me go past them. And we'll just do a quick uphill launch, turn in and brake, and yeah, it feels really good. So like I said, zero to 60 on this thing. It's about 7.3 seconds, I think I said. All in all though, this does totally feel like a solid SUV and I think that I would grab it. I think I definitely would. Oh yeah. Definitely really snappy turn in response. You know, for $44,000, I think I would really get this, but that kind of sums up the entire review of the car as a whole. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, as always, leave a like, comment, and definitely subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And share it with your homies. Let me know what other cars you want me to do. I'd love to be able to do more than just Subarus if that's what you guys want. That's just what I do because I love Subarus. But with that being said, thank you, peace out, and I'll see y'all in the next video.